Hi there, this is Peter Farron with a quick guide on how to remove unwanted sections of audio from movies and video clips using iMovie for macOS Catalina. And if I move down to the dock here, I can open iMovie. And from here, we're going to create a new project. In this case, a movie. And if we choose Import Media, I've already downloaded a Creative Commons video clip called Justin Cohen, Building on the Past. So I click the Import Selected button, and you can see it's over in the Project Media area. You can even get a little preview here by dragging over the, uh, the media clip itself. Now, that's the one I want, so I'll double click and drag into the editing window. You can see that it places it at the beginning, so I need you know, to worry about the placement there. And um, I'm actually, in this example, I'm going to delete a word uh, that is partway through, and it's called past. So you'd be doing a similar thing, looking for the word in the video clip. And there it is. So I'll click here, just um, so I don't lose my place. I'm going to go over to the zoom slider and drag that all the way over to the right. If you're going to remove individual words, you'll want to be fully zoomed in. Now, I can actually see the word as it appears um, and disappears. It sort of finishes about here. There's, a, there's the word and then there's the echo of the word. And then a new word comes in. So I'll fine-tune it by just placing the uh, cursor right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the modify menu and I'm going to choose split clip and I'm going to do the same at the end of the word you can see it just ends right there and once again go to the modify menu and choose split clip once I've done that, it's just a matter of hovering over the audio waveform until you get a slider for adjusting the volume. And I double click, hold down and drag. So I go all the way down to 0%. Now if I move the playhead and press the space bar, you can see that that word is totally gone. And I find in an educational setting, that's actually better than putting a, a bleep in there because um, for students that's a distraction and it makes them wonder what the word is. It's better to just uh, leave an empty space. They won't even notice. So once that's done, I can just go to the file menu. I'm going to choose share and I'm going to share it as a file. Now lots of options here, um, but I'm just going to choose the defaults, um, highest resolution, and it's giving me a preview of the estimated size of 183 megabytes. So then I can click next, and I can give it a name if I like, that's fine for me, and I'll click save. And as that's happening, you can see that over here you get preview of the progress and it's starting to show activity here. If I click on that, it will actually also um, tell me that it is exporting successfully. Uh, it's previewing the new the file name and it's telling me it will take a minute. Um, so that's about it. That was a quick guide on how to remove unwanted sections of audio from movies and video clips using I iMovie for OS, Mac OS Catalina. So uh, help me reach 1000 subscribers and please subscribe, like and comment before you go. Thank you.